Hello, I'm Bishop Brenda Boss of the Southwest California Synod. Sunday, January 29th is Reconciling in Christ Sunday. It is the day every year where the Reconciling in Christ congregations of the ELCA celebrate their inclusion and welcome of the LGBTQ community. Even though this denomination has said that it is welcoming of those people who identify on the LGBTQ plus spectrum, Many congregations have taken an extra step to be called Reconciling in Christ. And what that means is that their mission statement has been changed to include a specific welcome to those who identify uh, as LGBTQ, uh, who have various sexual and gender uh, identities. And it is a time for the church to say, we are inclusive in a way that many people do not wish to be inclusive. It's important that the congregations who are having this distinction understand that you can't just say all are welcome because those of us in the LGBTQ community who have suffered oppression over the years are never sure until it's overtly stated that not only are we welcome in a church, but we are celebrated. I want to read you some words from the Reconciling Works website. They say that in relationships built through outreach and education, Reconciling Works shares Christ's message, the gospel, which is for everyone equally. We advocate for systematic change in policy and practice in church and society, working to alleviate not only the painful symptoms of oppression, but also to eliminate its root causes. We are Lutherans working with the recognition that racism, sexism, ageism, ableism, heterosexism, homophobia, and all the other artificial distinctions that seek to raise one group into privilege and preference over another conspire together to diminish our world and our church. Woo, that is a lot. But Reconciling Works and their congregations who are reconciling in Christ are working to remove the boundaries that humans put up to judge each other as not worthy. To me, that is the Christian message. It's exactly what the Apostle Paul said when he said, in Christ, there is no longer Jew or Greek, slave or free, male or female. Indeed, we are all one in the body of Christ. And to, on Reconciling in Christ Sunday, we celebrate that God has made everyone, and this church believes it and lives into that message. If you would like to learn more about becoming a Reconciling in Christ congregation, go to www.reconcilingworks.org. And to those congregations who celebrate this day, thank you. Because of your welcome, because of your prayers, because of celebrations, young LGBTQ people, like I once was, have found a place in this church and have found that they can serve God faithfully in our midst. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God.